Hey guys, so I just want to talk. Actually, I learned a big lesson this weekend, this week, and I thought I'd share it with you guys because I made multiple mistakes. Okay, so one brand that I like that's very affordable, I've tried everything they've come out with up until recently where they launched two new products and everything they've come out with before has been lovely, wonderful, non-irritating, my skin appreciated it. So uh, this last, in the last week, they released two new products. So I was excited and I went and picked them up at Target. Their Melting Balm Cleanser and their Milky Oil Cleanser from Bioma, which are both very affordable uh, products. And you know what? I can always use a nice Milky Oil Cleanser and a nice cleansing balm. I picked them up uh, Saturday night. Uh, I went to use them for the first time and I realized how big I screwed up. Up until now, Bioma's products have all been fragrance-free. Uh, they have three serums, two moisturizers, a mist, and a cleanser. To my knowledge, they've all been fragrance-free. So when these two new products come out, I didn't even think to even think about fragrance because they have seven other products that have all been fragrance-free. So I assumed, which you know what happens when you assume, that they were going to be fragrance-free. So I used them last night. And let me tell you, they were not fragrance free. They both contain a very strong scent of rosemary leaf oil. Rosemary oil, it's not the worst fragrance ingredient. It does have some antioxidant benefits, although you're rinsing it off. So thankfully, it's a rinse off product. However, my skin freaked out and uh, it was very red and pink and irritated all, all Saturday night, Sunday morning, and finally calming down now. I made a mistake on multiple multiple accounts. First of all, I assumed a brand just because their other stuff was fragrance free that would be fragrance free. Secondly, I purchased it. Third, I didn't even look for fragrance. I scanned the ingredient list very briefly, hardly at all. Another mistake. And then third, I used it on my entire face and neck without doing any patch testing. At any one of these points, I could have stopped this from happening, but I didn't because I just trusted that this brand had done everything right before and I just assumed that they're gonna do everything right still and uh, thankfully the fragrance wasn't anything worse I mean it could have been something really irritating like methylacyloxylone <laughs> I still can never pronounce so it could have been much worse or my skin it had been much more sensitive it could have been really been irritating and you know freaking my skin out for days on end thankfully it wasn't as bad but it could have been worse and it's it is 100 percent my fault it's not this brand's fault it's my fault and you know what i just even holding this i can smell the rosemary oil and it, it's it is totally my fault and you know what that that another thing that goes to show no matter what a brand has done before you just you should never purely trust anything anyone any brand anything even me do your research do some googling don't take everything i say just based on because i said it cross check it you know there's you should always do that so anyway so this is my own fault i mean i could have saw rosemary oil and the list of ingredients is one two three four down they have it listed as an antioxidant which it can be but the oil there's better antioxidants that don't have the potential to irritate skin so that's the milky oil cleanser which otherwise did a nice job cleansing and then the cleansing balm again we have them listed on one of these oh here we go uh, rosemary oil, they have this listed in here as an antioxidant. It's the third to last ingredient. So, um, again, I could have stopped this from happening, but I didn't, and it's my own fault. If you're looking for a nice, gentle, uh, milky cleanser that doesn't have uh, a strong scent to it, the one from Tula is wonderful. It's kind of expensive. It does have bitter orange extract and bergamot extract. The extracts are much less fragrant than the oil, but my true love is the PSA Skin Reset Cleanser. I hated it at first. Uh, the first couple weeks I used it, I hated it, and now I've repurchased it multiple times, and I love this one. It has no scent. You can use it on dry skin. You can use it on wet skin. It's just wonderful, and it gives, gives it just the lightest lather, and it's still really hydrating. And then the other thing I screwed up on, the e.l.f. sunscreen. This is another one. Although I did see it, bismuth oxychloride, which I'm allergic to, which I found that out through an eye primer years ago. I just assumed maybe my skin had healed since then. I picked it up and tried it, and after one day, nope, not going to work. So anyway, don't assume anything. Don't trust any brand. Don't trust anyone empirically. Just research and cross-check everything anybody says before you believe it as fact, and then you'll prevent yourself from wasting money. I don't know what, to, I mean, 
I feel like I shouldn't even return it because I bought it, but I can't use it. But if I return it, it's just going to be thrown away. So I don't know if there's anybody I can hand it down to that can handle it. Whatever. Anyway, just my little reminder and lesson uh, that, you know what, even if a brand has great track record, you just don't know. And it's not, you know what, I'm sure this will work great for a lot of people, but if your skin's super sensitive, it's just a pass. So anyway, my little lesson of the weekend. So it could have been much worse, but should have patch tested it. That's the first, second big failure. Second, I sh first, I should have just looked at the ingredient list. And then again, I shouldn't have just trusted because everything else a brand's done has been great. It doesn't mean they're going to continue to do it. So I don't know what dramatically changed for them to include that in their product when everything else they've come out with, I think, has been fragrance-free, but who knows. So anyway, thanks for mentioning these to me because I, I, I do want to try everything because they're super affordable and had it not included the rosemary oil. And thankfully, again, it's a rinse-off product, so the scent isn't as irritating as if it were moisturized. I would have sat on my skin for 12 hours. How, however, once I noticed the scent, I probably would have rinsed it off. Uh, but anyway, it's just super strong. So anyway, otherwise, <laughs> wonderful products. <laughs> After I ripped down them for eight minutes. Maybe I'll make a fragrance-free version. I don't know. That would be nice to see because otherwise they're nice products. Minus the rosemary oil. So anyway, there's my little lesson for the day. And then my, my shout out to this stuff because I just love it. It is so wonderful. Uh, and again, you know what? I don't know why. I hate cleansers like the first couple weeks I try almost all of them. And then certain ones I end up loving and this was one of them. And I probably talked trash about another video, how much I disliked it. But then I just kept testing it to review it, you know, because I test everything for at least 30 days before I review it. And then I fell, fell, fell in love with it. So sometimes it works out in the end. Okay, anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you guys later. Got another, another Frugal Friday coming up and then a ferment favorite video and all about ferments. So later on this week, thank you guys so much. I will see you more tomorrow. Bye, guys.